and welcome back to the Cooking with Russian Girls show. Cheers! Without any long explanations, I just want to start to do it. So let's crack on and I will show you my ingredients. Here on this table in front of me you can see different ingredients. It's a basic ingredient for Russian breakfast and by looking at it I can tell you that by mixing some of these ingredients I can make a few different breakfasts. So what do we have here? Cheese, butter, uh, pastry, sausages, Russian kalbasa, eggs, baton, white bread, sugar, milk, porridge, and Nesquik cacao, and instant coffee. I want to explain you how did I choose my recipes. I was thinking about my childhood and what breakfast did I eat when I was a child in 90s. And let's start with recipe number one that you will probably like it no matter what country you are. I will need the egg and because I'm going to start with scramble omelette, scramble eggs. Very fun fact is that from the USSR and now in Russia the most popular type of sausages and kolbasa is doktorske kolbasa, which translates as uh, sausage from doctor. And here I have doktorske sosiski. When sausages are ready, it's time to add our omelette base. So when you pour it into your frying pan, you immediately start to shuffle. You need to fry it very carefully and very quick until all liquid is gone. You don't need to wait until it's too dry. So yeah, I think it's about right consistency. First Russian breakfast is done. Very simple, very basic and very delicious. Let's try it. I learned how to make this kind of omelette when I was a really young kid because it's so simple. Together with this coffee, this kitchen smells like cozy morning with nice breakfast ready. Do not go away just yet, because the most interesting recipe is starting now. I'm going to show you the nightmare breakfast of Soviet and Russian kids. This is Mannaya Kasha. In English, Simolina porridge. To be honest, I didn't know this English word until yesterday when I was preparing this video. I never cook it or never saw it somewhere and never heard someone eating it when I was living outside of Russia. I'm a bit nervous because I don't remember the last time I tried to make it, so maybe I will fail. I can tell you where the problem with this porridge. If you will put too much of this kasha, it's going to be very hard. Or if you will not mix it right, you will leave it for a few minutes. It's going to have chunks, so you need to really pay attention to it. In this recipe, I'm going to use milk, of course, and simmering the porridge. For one liter of liquid, you gotta put six tablespoons of porridge. 
but I don't want to make one liter of this kasha, maybe we just make it half. So let's try to measure half a liter. Okay, this is around this is around half. Oh my god. into cold milk not hot and I will add one tablespoon of sugar something like that great sprinkle sprinkle when you go to a typical Russian kindergarten sometimes you would get this kasha for breakfast and a lot of kids usually would refuse this breakfast. Do you remember that I told you that we need to mix it and pay attention? Otherwise, it's going to be burnt or it's going to have chunks. It more looks like a liquid, but after a few minutes, you're going to see little seeds. It is boiling, so we need to continue for two three minutes and it's done and now at this point you can add piece of butter Let's try it out! I set it apart for a few minutes to cool it down and I served it with a piece of white bread and a black tea. We can eat white bread in any breakfast, so it is our main ingredient. Let's try our semolina porridge. Guys, I don't know who hates this kasha, but in my opinion, it's just nice. White baton bread and semolina porridge, it's a taste of childhood, it's a taste of kindergarten or children's hospital. You can give me a like if you're going to try to make this porridge or you can give me a like if you're not going to try to make this porridge. Whatever, you just give me a like. Another important breakfast that I want to share with you today is how to make Russian sandwiches. We call it butterbrot. For my butterbrot, I'm going to use simple baton Russian white bread, butter, cheese, and kolbasa. I know that you probably can imagine beautiful American style sandwiches on the square bread, but no, Russian butcher broads are harsh. I don't know why I'm showing you how to cook sandwiches. I mean, it's just a basic survival food. I hope you know how to cut cheese. Probably if you don't know how to cut cheese and put butter on bread, you should keep watching. I hate frozen butter. It shouldn't be perfect. It should be just on survival level, guys. <laughs> it doesn't need to be beautiful sandwich. It is realistic butter broad. I think if you have butter and cheese and kolbasa, you're fancy and you're rich because I remember eating just bread and cheese and that's what all we had. Look at this funny kolbasa, I already cut the top off. It translates as father can, juicy, sausage, boiled
My serve breakfast is ready, finally! Those are my butterbrots slash sandwiches. They are not perfect looking, but they are real. It's the basic, fastest breakfast in Russia. And everyone can do it. If you're lazy, if you don't have time, if you don't know how to cook, everyone can do it. And pay attention is that I pair my breakfast with each specific drink. So for this breakfast, I think cacao that I make, it's a perfect match. Here as an example, I have a piece of Russian pastry because I think it's very popular, it's very common to eat pastry and bread for breakfast in Russia. You can eat uh, croissants or pies or piroshki, whatever you like, because breakfast in Russia it's not um, main and big and uh, this that you would do something special i think people just eat something quickly and they go around their day and the main food for the day is going to be lunch in russia i've heard that in europe and specifically in germany it's popular to eat bread kind of butcher bread for even for dinner it can be your main dish but in Russia, it's never going to be your main dish because if you will eat butterbrot as a food, your parents would punish you. They would tell you to eat something proper, like soup or borscht. And bread is for them is like a snack only. It's not a main dish. It, it's good only for breakfast or as for a snack. I want to remind you guys that you can subscribe to my sponsorship program so you can get early access to my videos and get additional content from me. If you don't want to subscribe to anything, you can click here and watch my another videos because I think they are very interesting. And for everybody, guys, thank you so much for staying with me until the end. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!